way this group is right now. I uh, talked probably length to about who you've beaten and how you've gone about it, but how does this group feel inside this room now at four? Yeah, I think we feel good. I think uh, you know, we've had a pretty tough schedule to start the year, and I think if you, you know, looked at it um, before the season started, said you're going to be four and one, I think we'd all be pretty happy with that start. Uh, with that said, I think we all feel like there's a lot of areas we can improve still, and you know, one of them being five on five play and producing a little bit more five on five, and so obviously that was a uh, focus of practice today and something that we'll continue to, to build chemistry and work on. We've heard that five on five quite a bit uh, from beginning to where you are today. Specifically, what about it that is kind of bugging you guys that needs that improvement five on five? Well, it's not just one thing. I think, um, you know, the zone time's down a little bit, um, which obviously the more you're playing in, in their end, the more it's uh, going to wear teams down and, and help you later in games and, um, you know, kind of a lot of one and dones on rushes and that, you know, you, team like Caroline, obviously, they, they defend really well and they make it really hard on you and uh, you got to be that much better with the puck. So, uh, this, like I said, there's things we're looking to improve on. Um, a lot of emphasis on it in practice and obviously, it, you know, the accountability, accountability of our uh, team, you know, holding each other to it and things like that. But um, like I said, I think we're happy with where we are and uh, I think I've always said it's better to, to learn from wins and losses. Is part of that like second chances too? I mean, the extended zone time, but trying to get some extra looks off of those whatever successful zone entries, but trying to just maybe have a few of those second and third looks. Yeah, I think it's you know getting getting over pucks a little more, skating with it, making plays. I think um, you know we're getting some stops on the forecheck. I don't think that's our main issue. I think just uh, what we do next when we get the puck, uh, forcing a few things, uh, things like that. But uh, getting bodies to net. Uh, getting some more point shots, things like that. So um, the more you do that stuff, the more zone time you're going to have, the more you wear them down, and the better your team starts to feel about themselves. Is it safe to say that you got to the record that you're happy with, but you got there in a way that you may not have expected? Is that not playing the game that you guys maybe have expected to? I think we've, had, we've shown spurts of the game that we can play, but I think it's not consistent enough. And I think um, you, know, you, you can't overlook the fact that our special teams has been uh, been solid and been a big reason why we are where we are and um, you know we have a lot of familiar faces on the kill from last year and then obviously the new guys that have come in and, and been big keys on the power play have been been great and and that's why we're four and one and um, you know so so while the five on five is maybe not where we want it a lot of the other things have been good and and those are important parts of the game too and you know I, you look towards you know how teams win the playoffs special teams are uh, Make or break that time of year. Yeah, can you live with that? Like knowing that you five on five isn't maybe where you want, it, but yet you have the special teams that you want. Is that a trade off you guys are comfortable with? Well, I don't think you want to. You don't. You don't have weak spots in your game. I think um, you know you don't want to be trading anything. I think you want to have everything strong. But you know it's going to be. One, you know we could be talking in a few weeks, and our five on five is going to be rock solid, and our special teams you know, have a, a rough game or whatever it is. So that stuff happens in an 82 game season. Um, but over the course of it, you want it to be as consistent as possible, and um, so you know we're not, you know, we're still going to continue to focus on the special teams and try to keep that strong. And um, you know, five on five, some of it could be a chemistry thing, things like that. So sometimes it just takes time. You got to stick with it. Playing with new players and in turn new lines and new pairings, it's been a lot of talk about building chemistry. How long does it typically take to do that, and, and how do you do it? I don't know that there's a a formula for how how long it takes, but. Uh, it's different, you know. Some guys you just click with immediately. Um, you know, I've had lines like that in my career that it was pretty much from game one. You feel really just comfortable playing with the guys, and you learn quick. Uh, and some guys just different skill sets. It just takes a little bit longer to to figure out the way they play and and what makes them successful and how you can kind of use each other to be successful. So um, not an exact formula. Obviously, sooner better than later here. Um, you know, you don't want to be learning the whole season here. You want to get to uh, the game that you need to be playing. But, um, you know, I think right now we're just giving it that time to marinate and see how it, how it shakes out. You've obviously been in different locker rooms yourself. Uh, what tips or what guidelines do you keep in mind for yourself when you're trying to immerse yourself in a new locker room or click with your new line mates? Anyone needs to maybe four goals? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, this time of year, pretty much we all know each other pretty well by now. and. You know, we're trying to spend some time. Obviously, road trips kind of give you a time off the ice to really bond as a group and get together, which 
we're, we're not really going to have many of those early on here. So uh, we're trying to find ways to get together here and in Calgary and become a close group. Because um, I think at the end of the day, the more you like the guys in your room and, and want to play for each other, the better the team's ultimately going to be. And um, thankfully, all the guys we brought in are really great guys, good character guys. Um, they want to compete and they want to win. So, you know, you can always always mesh with guys like that. It's not too hard to uh, make them feel part of the team and, and have them be part of it.